Here we see the work of Leopold and Rudolf Blaschke, who used flame working or lamp working as their primary technique for creating models. They describe themselves as model makers who used glass blowing as their primary medium. And you can see that they started with glass tubing and rod and heated it in flame to create the forms you see. Also, we see one of lamp working's greatest assets, its ability to create fine, fine decoration here brilliantly used to create all of the details in both the invertebrates and the botanical models on the right. The Blaschkas used very simple tools. In the foreground, you see a pair of tweezers and a pair of pliers. If you look at the model number 38, the fluted edge was undoubtedly made by heating the edge in the flame, and the tweezers have been used to manipulate zigzagging back and forth to create the crenellated pattern, probably like pinching the edge of a pie crust. The long-nosed pliers might have been used for flattening parts of glass, like the edge of model number 25. The fine details of color in the Blaschka models were achieved not by using colored glass, but rather by using watercolors. These models on the left, the invertebrates, were all made of clear glass. The colors were achieved by painting watercolors on the surface of the clear glass. If you look at the invertebrate model, number five, you'll see that blown elements the little pointed blown elements have been added to the larger central vessel by gluing them in place. The Blaschkas not only used glass, they used glue, they used watercolors, they used wire, even wood in creating these models.